the leader of the Patriotic Party. We are yet to hear a clear message from you, Mr. President. Committing yourself to a peaceful, fair and transparent election in Ghana. And committing yourself to respect the wishes of Ghanaians. And putting yourself in readiness to hand over power peacefully to whoever is chosen as the good people of the Republic. Four months is too short. President Rowling declared his preparedness to hand over power to anybody who will win elections one clear year before the election. President Atamils did the same. President Kufwa did the same. President Mahama did the same. We are ready to hear what you will say. What you have said already, that you will not hand over until you hand over to the candidate of your party. We consider it to be platform talk. Come now and speak as a father of the nation. You must set the tone for this election. If the election is going to be peaceful, it must begin from the mark of you, Nanado Dampa, Abu Fulando. The election is not going to be peaceful, and you want to destroy the country. You want to blow the bridge. Once you have crossed to an island, let it come from your mouth on a presidential platform. We have heard what you have said on your political platform. We are not telling people. So we take it that you are addressing your party faithful. Come and speak as president of the Republic of Ghana. And give us assurances that you are interested in peaceful and transparent elections. And when the people decide, we are ready to hand over. Mr. President, we want to urge you to call your appointees to order to prevent them from abusing the power we have invested in them to pursue their political interests because they will be resistant. Mr. President, we beg you, you are the Commander-in-Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces. Your word to the security sector that you are interested in peaceful and transparent elections will be obeyed because you are the Commander-in-Chief.